Hooper2723 is probably one of the fastest growing YouTubers on the whole platform, and he certainly is one of the most unique YouTubers out there. I first came across the Cooper2723 channel when his video, How to Draw Spongebob, was recommended on my homepage. From the title and thumbnail, I assumed this was a random 15 year old video that was somehow getting promoted by the algorithm all of a sudden, but upon closer inspection, I noticed that the video release date was much more recent than that, as in, the video only came out a few months ago. And on top of that, it had hundreds of thousands of views. Okay, I thought. I'm intrigued. Let's see what this is all about. Upon starting the video, we see a low-quality 240p screen recording of a Windows XP desktop with notepad open in the foreground. Text is then typed into the notepad reading, How to Draw Spoke Bob Tutorial, as Black Sabbath's Paranoid begins to play in the background. And at the top of the screen, there is a watermark reading www.bandycam.com. Continuing through the video, we see Microsoft Paint is opened up and SpongeBob is drawn on the screen. And that's it. That's the video. The screen recording is obviously sped up, and the entire video lasts less than a minute. Okay, that was... How does this have half a million views? I definitely remember seeing tons of videos just like this back in the early days of YouTube, but it's weird how recently this was released. Maybe this is some YouTuber that eventually made it big and this is a re-upload of one of his early videos? Let's check out the comments. The Black Sabbath track on top of everything really shows how much of a creative genius this dude is. Uh, okay, sure. As an artist, this is beautiful. The line confidence, the color theory, and the structure is all on point. Magnificent work. Alright, okay, so these guys are playing along with the joke. So I'm guessing there is some intentionality going on here. Let's see what else people are saying. This is an art form. Making videos that seem like they should have been posted 12 years ago, truly amazing. This genuinely made me feel relaxed as if I took a portal back to YouTube in 2008 and was a teen again. Damn, I'd love to find a playlist of throwback style videos like this. Oh, okay, I get it. Cooper2723's How to Draw Spongebob video was intentionally made to be reminiscent of amateur produced videos that were common on the platform back in the 2000s. If you used YouTube at all back in those days, say, sometime around like 2006 to 2009, then everything about this video is probably kind of familiar to you. From the use of notepad to convey on-screen text to the bandy cam watermark on the screen, this video is nostalgic. Taking a look at Cooper2723's other videos, we can see that he has several other tutorial style videos similar to this one, such as How to Draw Peter Griffin and How to Get Infinite Robuxes. Wait. Was anyone playing Roblox in the 2000s? No, they weren't. Roblox didn't get popular until the mid-2010s, but as we'll soon find out, Cooper2723 is a bit more complex than simple nostalgia baiting videos. In fact, I'd say that Cooper2723 makes five distinct types of videos. The first type of Cooper video is the screen recorded tutorial videos we've already talked about. The second category of Cooper2723 videos is what you could call picture slideshow videos. And these videos are every bit as nostalgic as the tutorial videos. Take for example this video titled, Cool. This 1 minute 23 second long video consists of a slideshow of cool Spongebob fan art from around the web as Black Sabbath's Iron Man plays in the background. And damn, I mean I gotta admit, this really takes me back. And I must not be the only one that thinks so because this video has over 1 million views. Another one of Cooper's popular picture slideshow videos is this one titled, Gangster. This video is a slideshow of Family Guy fan art in which the characters are depicted in a gangsta style. And just to be clear, these drawings are not created by Cooper, he's just finding these pictures on the web and editing them together in a slideshow to share with us. The third category of Cooper2723 videos is something I like to call list slideshow or informative slideshow videos. Some of these are top 5 or top 10 style videos such as top 5 rappers or top 5 black people, while some other videos in this category act as a sort of primitive video essay such as why Roblox is better than Minecraft or why South Park sucks. These videos show obvious signs of having been created using the now obsolete Windows Movie Maker, which makes these some of the most nostalgic of Cooper's videos. That iconic blue background which frames the striking white text like clouds in a careless summer sky we now can only long for in our dreams. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. Cooper2723. 
Uh, the informative slideshow style of videos are some of my favorite Cooper videos because they give us some insight into Cooper's personality. If it isn't clear by now, let me just tell you, Cooper2723 isn't just some guy making nostalgic videos. Cooper is a character. In fact, he has quite the personality, and he is absolutely hilarious. But we'll go into more detail on this in just a bit when we go over Cooper's Twitter and SoundCloud accounts. The fourth category of Cooper2723 videos is possibly the most intriguing of all. These are gameplay videos. Most of Cooper's gameplay videos contain footage from Roblox, Minecraft, or browser flash games such as the kind of thing you'd find on Newgrounds or Albino Black Sheep back in the day. Some of these videos have popular music playing as only audio, often new metal songs such as those by Linkin Park or Limp Bizkit, but the most interesting gameplay videos are the ones in which Cooper provides commentary. Cooper's gameplay commentary mostly consists of basic play-by-play -play commentary as Cooper just literally describes what he's doing in the game, but what makes Cooper's commentary so hilarious is how instantly frustrated he becomes as soon as anything goes even slightly wrong. Back there, what the heck? He freaking sucks at this game. <laughs> Well, perhaps frustrated isn't the right word. Cooper goes ballistic at the drop of a hat, and sometimes it even seems like he's starting to cry. He often curses whatever game he's playing as stupid freaking game or something similar. Stupid freaking game! And his mic quality is so bad and distorted that it is often difficult or even impossible to make out what he's saying. If you want to get the true Cooper 2723 experience, you definitely don't want to neglect these gameplay videos. But watching these videos, I can't help but become confused by the Cooper 2723 character. I mean, stylistically, he seems to be parodying a teenager of the late 2000s to early 2010s, so maybe like 2007 to 2012. But then he also plays newer games like Fortnite and Rocket League, which came out in 2017 and 2015 respectively. In Cooper's video titled New Console Leaks, he includes photoshopped images of the rumored PlayStation 4 and Xbox 720, implying that he is living in a time before 2013 when both the PS4 and Xbox One were released. So I don't want to analyze this stuff too deeply. The timelines of Cooper's content don't always make sense, but actually I think that's part of the charm. Cooper2723 isn't a perfectly crafted hoax character. I think he's just a funny guy doing a bit, and he's not necessarily putting too much effort into making everything make sense. But still, I can't help but be curious. Who is Cooper2723 really? Is he actually a teenager as he seems to be portraying? How does he make his videos? Well, to begin with our investigation, let's take a look at the fifth and final category of videos found on Cooper2723's YouTube channel, what I'll call IRL videos. This is the most rare type of Cooper video, but perhaps the most insightful when it comes to learning about the real Cooper. Most of these videos are just Cooper using a phone to record his computer, TV, or DS screen as he provides commentary, but there are two videos in particular that I think provide a lot of insight into Cooper's identity and creative process. First up is the video titled My Computer Setup, in which Cooper shows off his computer setup which was given to him by his grandma. The CRT computer monitor and the keyboard are obviously retro, the computer itself, I can't really tell, but I'm assuming it probably is just an old computer. A lot of people have asked how Cooper creates such realistic retro style videos, and I think this video confirms what many of us suspected from the start. He just uses old hardware and old software to make his videos. I think that's the simplest explanation for how Cooper makes his videos. The second IRL Cooper video I want to talk about is this one titled, Why Do Amish People Exist? This is one of Cooper's earliest videos, and it seems to have kind of flown under the radar. This is the only video on the channel in which Cooper shows his face, well, kinda. He's wearing a hat and sunglasses, but there he is. Myself, and I think many others, suspect that Cooper is not actually a teenager. It makes sense that someone making videos nostalgic of early YouTube would probably be in their mid-20s to early 30s. Now, in this video, we see the real Cooper, and he does look and sound like he could be a teenager. But the video is extremely low quality, and he's basically wearing a disguise, so yeah, this guy could be 30-something. We just can't tell. But wait. Our investigation doesn't end there. Let's take a look at Cooper2723's Instagram. Here we can find a couple dozen photos of Cooper. The earliest photos uploaded to the account all feature the same sunglasses as the Why Do Amish People Exist video, but later photos do show Cooper's face. 
I'm not going to be showing Cooper's face in this video, but take a look at this pic from his Instagram. There he is, standing on the blacktop with school buses in the background. Now, of course, Cooper could be a young-looking 25-year-old that went and took a picture on some school's property, so this image alone doesn't prove that Cooper is the age he proclaims to be. But other media I found pretty much confirmed to me that Cooper truly is a current middle school student. Yeah, Cooper really is a kid. That part is not an act. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, and Cooper isn't just on YouTube and Instagram. He's also on SoundCloud. And yes, Cooper2723 does rap. And yes, Cooper2723 does go hard. So I highly recommend checking out his SoundCloud. I'm Got So Much Money is an absolute banger. Cooper also did have a Twitter account where he made some of the funniest tweets I've ever seen, but unfortunately it looks like he was recently banned. That sucks. But anyways, if you like this video, then you'd probably like this one too.